Let's go to Mike in Long Island. Mike. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? I'm a big fan of the show. Listen every day. Thanks. And I'm a lifelong Yankee fan and a big fan of you, Michael. Thank you very much, Mike. So I got to take it to the task, uh, Michael, because yesterday you were talking about uh, like Yankee fans can't root for the Mets. Well, I got to tell you, I watched the game last night, and I was just so happy for Pete Alonso and the Mets and the, the way to come back and the grit. And so you you could be a Yankee fan, which I am, and be happy and root for the Mets to win. All right, so let, let me walk you through something, Mike. Let's see if you agree with me. Here we go again. So the, the Mets advanced to the World Series. The Yankees get knocked out in the ALCS. The Mets win the World Series. Do you have Met fan friends, Mike? Yes. So when they laugh in your face they, for the uh, entire uh, offseason, yes. how are you going to feel, Mike? Uh, I'm not going to feel good about it, but I'm not going to worry about it because I feel confident my team is going to win. Yeah, and if listen, my team is going to win, you should. You should feel confident because this is the greatest opportunity for the Yankees to get to the World Series since right. 2009. Right. But why would you root for the Mets? Listen, be happy well, that you because, saw a great baseball because, game. Maybe be happy for Pete Alonso, who seems like a decent dude and had a forever home run. But to root for them makes no sense. You think Mets fans are rooting for the Yankees? Yeah, it, it's it's different. It, it does different, seem though. like it's different. It, it seems like the people, guys, that fight this are Yankee fans who, I guess, just don't look at the Mets as a threat. And I'll be the first to admit, any Yankee hatred that I still have, I mean, I'm not like I was when I was a kid. I got it from my father. My father hated the Yankees. I hated the Yankees. It just came from jealousy because the team wins all the time. I'm just sick and tired of hearing about the Yankees and just wanting my team to get some due. Yankee fans don't have to worry about that. They're always going to be the topic of conversation. They're not today, but I'm sure as we get deeper into the playoffs, the Yankees are going to have their moment. And I think probably Yankee fans feel less threatened and don't think it's a thing. So I, but, but right, Peter, it doesn't seem like I hear many Met fans saying they're rooting for the Yankees, but I do hear some Yankee fans say that they root for the Mets. That's 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 what I think. I, I think guys, yesterday, I mean, I sent you guys the link from John Boy. I mean, the John Boy guys were all hanging out, and a couple of their guys are Met people. And when Pete hit the home run, you know, John Boy wasn't sitting there, and they weren't, and Jake, they weren't sitting there staring down angry. They jumped up and partied with their friends. They don't care. Yeah, I, lo I love I, those just, guys. They're crazy. It's it's a thing that is is dying. That that concept is dying. Love it or hate it. I I, I don't get why it's dying. They're, they're not going to be that happy if the Mets win. Listen, if you're a Mets fan, you should be rooting your head off for them. If you're a Yankee fan, you should be rooting for your team. But to be rooting for it's, the other it, team, it makes no sense. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's, well, it's well, short-sighted. The one thing I will it's say. It's a concept. It, you're, but your, your concept is so dated of it. Number one, the, the you get so, in this world, they get so much information about the Mets around them all the time because they live in the same city. And because the Mets haven't been particularly a threat in any way, it's just the guys that they're familiar but with. But now so they are a threat. Hating them. Now they well, and, are. and if they play, and That's, if they play in the World Series, maybe that would reignite what you're talking about. But I think right now, if you're right. young, you don't see it that way. Well, and, and honestly, the argument of um, uh, real quick, Don, I'm sorry, I just gotta say this: the argument of what are your friends gonna say if they make funny? What are you six? I mean, you say, uh, okay, sorry, we have 27 championships. What are we talking about? Hello, what, what is a what does a Met World Series win truly mean to a Yankee? I, but I can understand Please. not caring, but to actually like root for them just seems odd. So I would ask that call if you were still on hold. Met Yankee World Series. You're, he's going to root for the Yankees, right? Because he's a Yankee fan. If the, right. if the Mets win the series, is he going to be? Yeah, how you feeling, right, then, well, bud? I'm happy. I'm happy for the Mets. Good for them. And 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 party because a New York team won. No, that would be fraudulent. Hey. It's fun. They, they, we got a long way to go before they might want to meet each other. But I do think a lot of it comes with the fact that, you know, the Mets have been relatively harmless for a long time. If that changed. You see, a lot of these people, Peter, uh, uh, Michael, Peter, Peter doesn't remember. He wasn't here. And he was only seven. If you go back to the mid-'80s when the Mets owned this town, things Yankee were a lot got different. abused. Things were I remember 73, different. Don. I yeah. was 12 years old. I lived in a, I lived in a, uh, a neighborhood with all Met fans. I, I got abused. People don't get... I mean, f is fandom different now? Why are you rooting for the Mets if you're a Yankee fan? Are you out of your minds?
Are you out of your it, mind? It, it is. Like you don't have enough different. good things to root for in the Bronx? Now you're going to root for the Queens players? It doesn't make sense. It's bizarro land. Well, but why can't you just accept that people are different now? They're it, different it, bad then, not different good. <laughs> it, no. I, wait, why is it better to be filled with vitriol for the other people because in the city? Because then you like, never, you should, you'll never feel the, uh, the joy of winning, and you're never going to feel the desperation when you lose. Because, you know, it's participation trophy era. Oh, if the Mets win good, it's good for the city. Please no, that, stop. That, that that would be the equivalent, Michael, is if Yankee – you're acting as if Yankee fans are going, hey, and if we don't win, I'd be happy to see the Astros win. Th there's but a, these are the, the Mets. Mets Yankee, these are a bigger rival but, than the Astros. But, you have I, to live I, with I, Mets fans every day of your life. Anthony, Anthony, who do you hate more, the Mets or the Astros? Astros. Tom agrees with uh, me, by the way. Uh, 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 young younger people prime. hate the Astros more than the Mets? They don't care. I guess it's a younger crowd thing. But, again – you're talking to Anthony's 30, Tom's what, like 25. So they, he, he don't, may be they don't know a world in which the Mets mattered much. They don't know I didn't a world. Remember, I don't remember the They subject. don't know a world. I lived in a world, Michael lived in a world where the Mets owned this town. When the Mets would draw a million more fans than the Yankees did. When the Yankees were thinking about moving to New Jersey. When it was all about Doc and Daryl. Michael remembers that. So if you're of a certain age... John, can I just say one thing to Peter, though? He, he's acting like young fans are completely different than men, men and women of our age. How did the Yankee fans feel this year when the Mets swept their backsides for nothing? Did they feel good then? Did they feel good? Did they feel good for the Mets? I don't think they cared that Oh, yes, much. they did. You're dead wrong. <laughs> Oh, let, let, let me survey the room. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, oh, how, Anthony how did it feel when the Mets swept the Yankees? Yeah, it wasn't ideal, but, you know, it's just four games. Oh, my God. See? Anthony's dead oh, inside. We have to ask somebody else. Oh, my God. Ask Tom. Tom feels the same way I do. You have to ask Tom. Oh, you know what? So, how about this? Tom and Anthony are in the room. They're both wrong. They're both out of their minds. Four nothing didn't bother you. And it wasn't just four nothing. It was a spanking. A real spanking. Yankee fans, well, did you feel good for the Mets then? Grow up, every single one of you. Good for the city. Well, they should grow up. Yeah, for the city. they should grow up. Because being a fan means something. Yeah. You can't root for both. You can't root for both. But they felt good for the city, Michael. These are people that, like, they yeah, want to scrub the Yeah, they're all Chamber of Commerce members. Clean. They're all in the Chamber of Commerce. Because <laughs> I'm sure Yankee fans rooted right. for the Dodgers, and the Dodgers and the I, Giant fans rooted for the Yankees. Oh, stop the nonsense. I see them when I go over yeah, the no, And by the way, and by way nothing signs. has Welcome changed. to New York. Nothing has changed, by the way, in the way people view the world in the last 40, 50 years. And everything's the exact same. No one changes. Everything's well, you know, Peter, the same. If anything, if anything, just to fly in the ointment of your point, I think there's more hatred in the world today than there's ever been. All of a sudden, though, Yankee and Met fans, kumbaya. I am not buying it. And the ones that are, they're not real Yankee fans. If they're just reveling in the Mets having a great win, they're not real fans. They're not real fans. I'll tell you what, I, I'm... I'm just too. I'm in too good of a mood to be that angry about it. But I agree with Mike. But now listen, I, I'll tell you. So the, the closest thing I get to with this guys, and we'll, I know we got a break, is Commanders and Ravens. Like we we have stunk for 20 years. The Ravens have been great the whole time. I never root for the Ravens. But I. I but I don't feel any real anger or vitriol either. I just I just don't care. Well, you're dead inside, too. Bob Costas joins us in just a moment. Right here He's on alive. Yes at 880 ESPN. Let's go to uh, Lovell in the Yonkers. Hey, Michael Lovell. Hey, Lovell. Um, I wanted to, <laughs> we always do this. Um, I, I wanted to disagree with you and Don. I, I tried to call yesterday, but I couldn't. Just the whole Yankee fans should hate Met fans thing. No, 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 and, no, 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 not keep, hate Met fans. No, 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 no. Nobody said that. No, no, no. I mean the Mets. We should yeah. the Mets, not the fans. The Mets, the Mets. I, I apologize. But like, like Peter is kind of because me and Peter are basically the same exact age. So he's trying to. He's giving you like, and I'm just kind of just backing him up. Um, we don't see it that way in our generation. Like, for me, I, I never call in and say how long I've been a Yankee fan, but I've been a Yankee fan since 96. So, oh, like, so you start in a tough year. Yeah. But no, 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 no. But let's be fair. In my lifetime, they had never won the World Series up to that point. How old were you in 96? I was born. 
I was 16. Oh but that's when you became a fan, the year they won a World Series. Yeah, so, so it's not like you started out at the no, bottom. No, no, no. What I'm saying is I became a fan that, that during that season. Yeah, of course you did because they were good. They were so you were fraud. 16, come on, man. You're mature. You're dating. What's the matter no, with no, you? No, no, but listen, listen. <laughs> but this, this is my point, John. This, this is my point. And I'm going to kind of diss my own generation with this. I don't think my generation and younger is as diehard sports fans as well, your generation. Well, that's a different older. story. I, that's on you. Opinion. That's that's on you. That's a different no, no, story. I just, because, but no, here's, here's my point. And this is, I just think in our generation growing up, we had a lot of other things that 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 older generations didn't have. They just had sports. Like we we had video games. We had. But, but you're not making uh, your point. So on, on the line here, it says you're happy for your Met fan friends. Okay. No, no, yeah, All right. So, so let me so, so, anyway, let me my, ask my you just is, off that so point: is, If the Yankees get yeah. eliminated and the Mets win the World Series, are the Met fans friends of yours? Are they going to be sorry for you because your team got knocked no, out? No, 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 no. Actually, Michael, and this is my point, and this this is the real point. They're absolutely obnoxious, but I feel sorry for them, Michael. Because again, like I said, I I I came into this with unprecedented greatness. Like what a time for my generation. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. You just Yankee said, fans. Lavelle, you just said they're obnoxious, and you feel happy no, no, for but, them. No, this is what I'm saying. But here's the thing: I'm not happy for them. What I'm saying is this: I, I pity them. If that makes sense. Well, see, like, like, that's, like, that's, that's the, the thing. No, uh, but that, I don't need your pity, okay? We the, don't do me any favor. I see. Don't you see the backhand compliment? Right. That's you why see, I don't want to hear reason. it. That's the reason we're talking about, Don. Right I, there. I, I don't want to just own it. You don't like. You don't like Met fan. You, you don't like the Mets. But no, you're gonna you're gonna pity us. Oh, your little your, your little boy got a nice little home run. Yay! I'm seeing it on Twitter. I'm getting killed. Like Boone and Chambliss should be much higher. It's not even close. Those were tie games. This is the first time. Nothing has ever happened like this in history. Being down. Oh, it wasn't a walk off. Well, I'm sorry. The Mets are on the road. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, but, and, you, and, and then another yo-yo. I don't even want to give his name. Oh, the Lindor home run was, better, was bigger on Monday. Are you nuts? They at least could win game two to get into the play. I mean, oh, that's why I don't like doing the top five, because it brings all the yo-yos out. But that caller, uh, again, don't, I don't need your backhand compliment. I don't need your little pat on the head. I don't need you to be condescending. You think, oh, I'm really happy for you, Mephi. Yeah. Like the, like the, the fat kid that climbed the rope five really... feet. Yeah, let's give him a clap. I don't by the way, I don't even... I don't even think he really felt that way. I think he felt every time that Michael was going to scream at him. So he right, had to he back, you're right. You like couldn't be more right. He backpedaled he didn't each time. Actually, he didn't actually feel bad for Mets fans. He just... You know, I, his first point, guys, he kind of like yelled at him for it. The first point of like younger kids just aren't as committed because they had more, it's probably true. But then what do we have to do? Good or bad. That's on them. What are we yeah, talking What are we about? arguing then? Well, it's so not you about don't love the sport them, like we just, do. That's like saying okay, maybe not. Well, that's like saying I, I think this movie is better, and then you push him out. Go, eh, well, I, I I really didn't care anyway. Right? You know the Yankees and the uh, Mets playing the World Series, but you know I'm going to go play Call of Duty. You're not a fan. Yeah, you're so a video your opinion, fan. Your opinion kind of doesn't count, Peter. If you if you're telling me the the, the well the, the reason the younger fans feel that way is because we have other things to do. Fans. Okay, good. Well, you know, but 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 I I think it's I hear what you guys are saying, but I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm saying it's interesting insight to hear. Maybe it is more of a fraud sports fan generation, and and, and it is interesting to think maybe there's a reason for it. I, even going back to my age, I, video games didn't really exist in a real way until I was like 12 years old, and even then they were. Or Pong a Jace. So maybe it is just different. They don't get it. Um, Padres will meet the Dodgers in an NLDS, the one that's not the Mets and the Phillies. And the Padres just have bad news. Joe Musgrove, who knocked the Mets out of the wild card a couple of years ago, will have Tommy John surgery. So bad news for the Padres.